this is a little demonstration how uh, we can get a part object from a scanned object. Here is a website of uh, Keyscan 3D uh, where uh, a free software is offered uh, that scans objects with a 3D scanner. Uh, and there are some example files here. And now the question is, how can I get a CAD model of this object? Uh, first thing what I have done, I have downloaded uh, the uh, object file and I have imported it into uh, Blender. And what we see here is that we have in the object a fine structure of horizontal and vertical lines and some more points, but uh, I think it's enough to have this point and uh, to generate a NURBS surface and how this can be done. Okay, we start and we run the import script, gen object to part. This will take a little while. Okay, and so we can see how the process is running. So I think it's finished and uh, the time uh, running, uh, the running time of the process was less than uh, two minutes. You see it here. And what is the result? So here, this is uh, the point cloud of the scanned object. The next one, what we have here is uh, the same object normalized. Normalized means that we can put this figure into a cube with size 1000 millimeter in each direction. I want to put such a uh, cube into the scene. So I start draft, um, sorry, part. I create a cube. So, and we change the size of the cube to 1000 and 1000 and 1000. So, next what I do is I change the transparency of this cube to 90. So, and we see now the transformed cloud inside of this cube. And this is uh, the whole point cloud as one single object. And inside the cube, we have the height lines. To post process this data, I have mapped all these data back to uh, a plane. This is this image because uh, the scan data uh, built a surface. I can map this surface with a transformation to a planar surface. And in an on a planar surface, it's easy to order the data. So I can uh, calculate a polygon which goes from left to right and I do this and when I have calculated the polygons, I transform the polygons back to 3D space and the result is uh, a list of wires. And we have the model here. This here is already a part object. It's this shape with all the points connected. And 
and I have done only uh, the calculation in one direction in the Z correction that means uh, all the lines all the curves lie in XY planes but it's also easy to do the same in uh, X or in y z direction so I will get a complete lattice for or a complete mesh for the surface and the last step uh, what we see is we can clone the shape this shape and we can retransform it back to the original uh, point cloud we have here the scale factor and the placement and what we see is that uh, the clone shape is here near the starting data and now we can hide the scanned objects and can work on this uh, CAD model. So what we see here, we have uh, curves and now we can decide what of these curves uh, are good data and what of them are uh, noisy data so we can delete these small stripes or we can connect them. If we have a complete scan around the whole object then we can create from this one uh, using um, the loft or the sweep feature uh, volume and on this volume we can post process and uh, add some other geometrical objects like cubes or we can drill here a hole 